Thank you for being here. It's a, a lousy Saturday evening here in uh, New York. Uh, Winter doesn't seem to go away because uh, it is almost uh, snowing here with flurries and snow coming down. So not a good day. Uh, but anyway, so um, thank you again for being here. What are we going to be doing? Um, basically, we will be working with um, Selenium and C Sharp. Um, the way this training is going to run is um, um, we will be meeting for eight sessions. Um, each session is going to be two hours long and uh, it is going to be on the weekends, on the Saturdays and Sundays. And uh, the timings is sort of like um, iffy, uh, meaning that uh, right now we have decided that we would be doing, um, let's say, from three to five. Um, but I am flexible, I'm open on um, changing that time because um, the reason that we kept it from 3 to 5 is because um, um, we have uh, some church going um, folks um, in uh, the audience and uh, they prefer to do it a little bit later in the day uh, because in the mornings I guess they're going to church. So I can understand that, um, but uh, they are still open with the uh, you know, flexible, a little bit flexible with the timing. They want to start around like one o'clock, so we might also be able to do that. And um, uh, this is going to be both Saturdays and Sundays. Saturdays and Sundays. So uh, we'll be meeting two hours uh, for each day. Now, I um, we have been doing these kind of trainings for a little over five years now, and uh, we have uh, been doing um, so many other courses. Uh, you could uh, look into the courses that we have been providing training on. Um, Selenium uh, with Java is uh, one of the most popular courses that we have. Uh, now, the reason um, we recently started off with cshop.net is because there is a huge demand. Um, uh, all of a sudden, uh, people are starting to look at uh, Selenium with C-Sharp. Um, uh, in this session, we have some corporate um, uh, you know, uh, people who are taking this training. So I um, welcome you folks um, and uh, uh, appreciate the fact that uh, you are here um, and you want to uh, learn um, you know the C-sharp uh, version of it because they have already uh, taken training with me on Java and they are back with the C-sharp. So um, uh, as far as the course is concerned, um, it, the course is going to be totally hands-on, meaning that um, on day one, I will be doing a little bit of talking. Uh, today is day one, so you will find me uh, like babbling around here and there, you know, talking about uh, things. But uh, um, once we uh, get started with the project, um, we will be a total hands-on. Um, what are we uh, going to be learning in this course? The idea here is to build a framework. You would be learning as how to build framework, and the language that we'll be using to write the code will be csharp.net. Now, um, a lot of folks um, uh, have taken the training with Java, so you will find that this training is going to be uh, different from uh, what you have done in Java in the sense that um, um, people who are using csharp.net are mostly um, people that have their applications built using uh, Microsoft technologies. So Microsoft Technologies is um, basically um, about uh, uh, you know all .NET languages. So either it's VB.NET, C# um, and the uh, Microsoft stack is uh, made up of uh, many different things, and uh, uh, SharePoint is uh, one of them. And uh, fortunately for you folks, um, I will be covering uh, some SharePoint as a part of this course as well. So um, you will have access uh, to the software because uh, um, uh, SharePoint and uh, uh, Selenium C Sharp .NET, the tools that we'll be doing, uh, will rather be using, are not necessarily uh, open source, um, unlike um, Java, where we have everything open source. You don't really have to pay anything here. Uh, since it is coming from, we will be using Microsoft tools, and Microsoft license their tools, so we will be. Um, basically be using the evaluation versions of the software. So uh, what do we need uh, to get started? To get started, uh, you would need um, the tool is Visual Studio. So let's see where we're going to be getting Visual Studio for ourselves. So if I say uh, download um, 
Microsoft Visual Visual Studio. Um, now, notice right here it says that, hey, which version of Visual Studio do you want? Uh, because there is a 2010, 2012, 2013. Well, uh, why don't we go with the latest one, which is 2013? All right, so we will be uh, clicking on this link too. Uh, download and as uh, you can see uh, they say that hey you could get everything for free um, uh, not technically true uh, because um, we will uh, even though they offer something called uh, um, uh, express edition but unfortunately we will not be using the express editions so we got to be using uh, anything but the express edition so uh, what are those um, other things that we could be using so Visual Studio comes as a professional. Visual Studio comes as a, um, uh, ultimate. Um, now, the version that I have, uh, it's an ultimate version of Visual Studio. You uh, don't really need it unless you are dealing with TFS, Team Foundation Server. Now, um, uh, I, um, I, I'm debating myself whether to include Team Foundation Server in this course or not. Um, so. Um, because uh, uh, the issue here is uh, the access to the software. So I uh, want to make it as easy as I can for you folks to uh, use these softwares without paying anything for it. Um, so um, I, uh, if I have to buy, I will buy and I will give you access to um, you know, our uh, TFS. So, in fact, we already have uh, TFS, so once you become a member, once you make the payments and all that, um, we will give you the access to the TFS. And uh, we will be uh, having our test cases. We will be putting our test cases uh, um, using uh, MTM, which is the Microsoft uh, Test Manager. Uh, we'll be creating our test cases. That's the tool, uh, and that is a tool like Jira. That's a tool like uh, uh, Quality Center QC. Um, so Microsoft has uh, that tool. It is called MTM, Microsoft Test Manager. So we'll be using that MTM to create our test cases. And once we create our test cases, we got to upload the test cases onto the TFS. Uh, so I'll be showing you as how to do um, the uploading into the, now. Um, you might question like why are we learning these things now one of the reasons uh, you want to know these uh, things is because if you learn c .net as the language to um, create your automated scripts uh, that means that you belong to a special group an elite group um, that is uh, using c .net as the language because if you have if i have to put a number i would say that about uh, 70 percent uh, or a little bit more uh, of 70 percent are using selenium with java so the rest um, is a combination of other languages so now you are into a special group but this special group uh, there are uh, the pros and cons for you to fall into this group the good things the advantages for you to be in this group is uh, you are special people now uh, because uh, uh, if any company is using um, c sharp dot net uh, then you are the that that limited number of uh, supply that uh, is out there uh, for that demand so if there is a demand if there is a need for a c sharp dot net person uh, in selenium uh, there are not that many people out there so uh, you know uh, thank yourself that you are doing this because you could be making you know tremendous amount of money with this because uh, there are not that many people out there so uh, the going rate right now uh, in United States um, as far as uh, uh, the major concentration is concerned if you take the East Coast or the West Coast or big cities happening cities uh, let's say Boston New York uh, or if you go uh, on California like let's say Bay Area um, these these areas are uh, you're talking roughly on an average of uh, 60 to 70 dollars per hour right uh, by the end of this training um, I can guarantee you uh, I want you to hear me again I can guarantee you that you would learn if you follow what I tell you to do if you complete the eight exercises that we want you to complete eight challenges that we will give you out uh, to do if you complete them I can guarantee you you would be making that kind of a money because uh, right now there is a bad need of c .net people and then there is not that many people out there who knows this right so consider yourself to be 
um, you know, one of uh, those smart and the luckiest people that you're doing it uh, only because uh, uh, the demand is there. Not that there is no demand for Selenium with Java, there is equal demand, but there is also supply there. There's a lot of people out there who knows that. So in your case, um, you will be belonging to that limited group. Okay, with that said, uh, it comes with a lot of responsibilities. Money uh, that they're going to be paying you $70 per hour um, uh, or let's let's take a conservative number. The conservative number is let's say, um, you know, bring it down to $50 an hour. $50 an hour if you translate, if you convert that into a year annual salary, that is $100,000 we're talking about. So in order for you to earn $100,000, you have to know certain things. And what are those things? Again, TFS is a part of it. MTM is a part of it. Believe it or not, SharePoint will also be a part of it. So in this course, I will be keeping you on your toes for the next um, eight sessions. It is going to be a fast-paced course. I, you will learn a lot of stuff in this course. I am um, guaranteeing you that um, you will learn a lot of them. So things are going to be new for you. You're going to be taking some time to uh, adjust to these uh, new tools and to these new technologies. So the first um, few classes are going to be, um, you know, uh, a little bit challenging for you. So 